This is Solangefoss. <laughs> Normally you can go behind the waterfall, but as you can see, due to the ice and the snow, the path's closed today, so we'll have to come back in the summer. Don't panic people, but yes, sometimes we do eat mildly healthy. So we have got Iceland's finest invention, skier yogurt, chopped up apple. Jobs are good for breakfast. Currently at Diamond Beach, it's essentially black sand with glacial ice rock formations that travel down from the glacier down the river towards the sea and we are absolutely surrounded by blocks of ice that are I'll have to check this but I think they're at least thousands of years old I'm not a histo historian I just know what I like and I like this beach this is pretty special <laughs> it's like fucking amazing. I am crying. the parking lot and you know why we call it the parking lot because we park here a lot <laughs> that's why
we've just finished the ice cave tour and come down to Yucca Salon Glacier Lagoon. I can see in the distance there the biggest glacier in Europe and at the bottom of that glacier is where all the icebergs, if you like, break off the glacier into the water and work their way into the sea down to Diamond Beach. This glacial lagoon lake is mind-blowing but this thing especially with this evening light look look at look at that ice in the distance there a luminous blue crazy isn't it if you turn it around he said they're about 30 meters high oh there was some he said were 30 meters high and then he said i think they go down to like 300 meters or something yeah there's like literally 10 percent of what you see 10 percent of the full size of the iceberg is above water the rest of it is below water and i think this lagoon lake is the deepest in iceland and he said it was about 350 meters deep mm. it's just and this camera won't pick it up but what's in the distance beyond this as well are snow-capped mountains a this, this place is just phenomenal mm. just there Duster, 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 Suzuki, Duster. We've just had a notification on the Aurora app to say, in your location, if the skies are clear, you may see the Northern Lights in the next hour. We've got clear skies. So we're just finishing off the Peroni and getting outside with the camera. Time is it? Time is now quarter to 11. And I think I've described it before, but we had a notification briefly to say, you might see it tonight. So we went out and seen a very faint glow. Nice as it was, it wasn't what we were looking for. So we kind of came back inside after taking a couple of photos. Then I went back out to the car to get a car charger and there was a bit of a stronger line. So we got suited and booted again, went outside, took a few photos and started getting stronger and stronger. And then all of a sudden we got that mad colorful multi-coloured glow not just green this time all different reds and pinks and stuff filled the sky it did fill the sky there was there was like five different rows going from east to west right the way across the globe solid lines from one horizon to the other and the thing is it was right above our house so we've been like this <laughs> for about two hours <laughs> my hands are red raw and just bitter. I had this down jacket on with the sleeping bag down jacket over it and I've got a merino base layer underneath my hat, two hoods up. Granted I was toasty but my hands took the blunt of it because you can't wear gloves playing around with a little camera like this. But it was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. I just can't believe how lucky we've been. This is our fourth night in Iceland now and we've seen two very good showings of the Northern Lights. Still got two nights left as well. And tomorrow and the night after, forecast says KP5. Tonight was only a KP3. But then the first night we've seen it was a KP5, but anyway, we're just gonna switch off for the night now. Pack up in the morning and see what tomorrow brings, eh? This place we stayed at for the last two nights is not on short of amazing partly because we got the northern lights again last night but the actual apartment is superb the location is excellent the host really good i'll put the name below because i can't say it but all i would say is if you're in the south of the island this is definitely one to consider we're now packing up we'll give it a little show around before we go 
but we are heading back along the south coast, uh, back to Reykjavik today and we're going to stay at a couple of nice beauty spots on the way yeah, this we'd have stayed here longer if we could right, welcome to our second accommodation of the Six Nights Bay in Iceland um, this one is an apartment, two floors and is again, beautiful you've got kitchen I mean, they've used the space so cleverly with everything you need oven, loads of storage for cutlery, pans, plates, glasses, everything obviously sink massive fridge freezer um, and then this side we've even got toaster, kettle coffee and tea and then a microwave come over this way, this lovely little seating area I want this chair, it is beautiful <laughs> um, big comfy couch that is so comfy I can lay on that for days and then we've also got a dining table that fits four people quite comfortably loads of windows, loads of light being let through as well so it's really nice then if you come this way we've got the bathroom well shower room because it's not bathing <laughs> and it's just really thoughtful the things they've done it's like draw with your hair dryer in extra toilet rolls and then a drawer with all towels in all folded up and flannels and everything oh it's like a little mitt no? <laughs> we've got a huge shower power was just perfect and temperature and everything great shower there is a spider on the ceiling in here so I might scream you also got a utility room a um, washing machine big sink for any hand washing that you need to do laundry basket now we'll go upstairs they are a bit steep so you have to be careful <laughs> so you come up to a lovely open little landing area again another window to let in loads of light well that's one thing it's got underfloor heating as well oh, amazing got a single bedroom excuse the fact that the bed's not made in here massive double bedroom as well dead comfy bed again i don't know what they do in iceland with the beds but wow loads of storage as well for clothes and bits and bobs so all in all an absolutely amazing accommodation again and what's it called near bar know, apartments we'll something like that <laughs> We've just been to a very famous beach in Iceland. It's famous for its black sands, sea stacks, and dangerous creeper waves. Can't remember the name of it, but in all honesty, it's a bit underwhelming because we've just come from Black Diamond Beach. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. The, the rock formations, the little caves, the stacks, everything. It's quite busy. 
It's Rainis Vajara Beach. Rainis Vajara Beach. It was a quick visit. We went to the supermarket, come to here, and now we've got a two and a half hour drive to Reykjavik. <laughs> 